Hello and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is WWD Admin, but you already know that. Hello, Train. It's weird how I can actually hear that. Even though I have the window way over there open. Anyway. <laughs> um so what we wanted to do is we wanted to set up a relay around Ninmus and Moon so even if um, a vessel outside the sphere of influence of Kerbin is shielded off by the Moon or Ninmus from contacting the uh, relay satellites around Kerbin it will still relay over the satellites around the moon or Minmus. Now what we need for that is of course our relay satellites, which are going to be basically the same. Um, we have those in here somewhere. Garbage truck, Kerbal Gravel. Relay Deployer. Now, obviously, this was built to uh, deploy these around Kerbin, and it was pretty successful doing that, but I don't think I can make this entire thing, at least not the way it is, go all the way to Minmus or Moon. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna redesign the lowest stage, which means we're going to take off this decoupler, basically. Wait. Yeah. Everything below this decoupler. And build that. Because that was very inefficient, and uh, yeah. That, that's not something I want to deal with. It's inefficiency. Um, so this thing alone has 4,000 Delta V. So, so this is fine. We just need another 4,000 under it to actually get this to orbit. At least 4,000. Well, actually... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to redesign this entire thing um, so this is going to be the same deployer essentially but uh, we're gonna have different engines and different uh, different amounts of fuel because that's kind of like I'm, I'm gonna add another one of no that's the wrong thing yeah another one of these So this has more fuel, then it's gonna get a um, freaking engine plate. That's the wrong size. Uh, that should be fine as medium. If we take... I don't know, something that has good vacuum thrust these have good vacuum thrust mainsail obviously isn't made for vacuum neither are these it's the torch never has any good uh, like any good thrust anyway and it's not really a vacuum engine. The Cheetah is a vacuum engine. So, if I was to say, first of all, stop not snapping where you want you to snap, uh, make this bear, and make that like three. Now, 
what would that That's 4,700.8 thrust. That should be fine. Now, if I add a decoupler to this, just make sure it's a, it's a, it's a decoupler and not. Okay, so this needs to be longer, medium long. That's exactly where it should be. Uh, just one and in the middle. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> you piece of garbage. Then long. Fuck's sake. Those clip. I'd rather have them clip into each other a tiny little bit than have them clip into the shroud. This should be fine. So under that, obviously, we're gonna get... Uh, I'm gonna say we're gonna get bigger. Do we have... Do we have bigger? Or is that still the biggest that we do? I have the feeling that's the biggest that we do. Which means that... Um, we're adding a thing here. Another engine plate, in fact. But not for engines. Medium should definitely be enough for that. Um, excuse me. Thank you. Forward retrograde, and you can not, right? Why is the hex better? Anyway. We do this. Um, and... No. This. And then we do not stage this. That goes with that. And these go also with that. This will probably fall off first, honestly, but whatever. So under that, we're gonna put a mainsail and see if that... Why are you so close to me? Uh, that will work, so... Um, basically just boosters. That's basically the same thing. These, these go on this straight. Thank you. Um. 
unfortunately I do not have anything but mainsails. So let's see if that works, if these all go at the same time. This is still a 1.3 ratio, that is good. Even in, in atmosphere it's 1.2, so that's fine. Then we're gonna make you feed into the center. Which means we're going to start this, lose these, still have enough uh, thrust of weight even in lower atmosphere, and all in all have 5,400 delta V in this. <clears throat> um, these are also going to get the landing legs, obviously, since I'm landing this back. Start retracted. These are probably not actually going to land anywhere near. Uh, land, but I'm fine putting these on here anyway. These are a little bit high. That's better. Uh, retract, 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 and retract. Okay. Then we're gonna put a... That's... LFO, yes. Uh, that's even more then. 5,500. And then we're going to put a nice little fairing, because uh, that's the easiest way to make a cone that actually controls stuff. Um, so, um, fairing. 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 Payload. And then, uh, hex, uh, battery, and reaction wheel. Actually, thinking about it, you might want to have this like down here and that on there, because it's easier to build the bearing like this, like until here, 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 yeah. These will not be staged. Obviously, they just fall back and are part of what we recover. Uh, then all of this needs strutting, since without strutting this is going to fall apart. Uh, it's really hard to strut if most of what you have is weird, like, shroud parts. Yeah, exactly that. Can you go from like the freaking fairing base or something? That's way better. Why are you double clicking? Oh my god. All I want from KSP2 is not having the worst fucking uh, performance in the building menu. That's literally everything I want. Not not even a single other thing. Relay Deployer Mark II. Not getting completely fucked 
by just doing a little bit of strutting in the fucking editor is really all I want. Performance wise. It's the worst. Makes no sense that this is so fucking stupidly just bad. Connect these up so nothing should wobble left or right or up or down. Obviously, um, these need re renaming. Um, so configure vessel naming. Um, this is going to be the moon relay. Um, Unfortunate that you can't do that in like series. By the way, I know what completely tanks uh, the thing here. Probably the frickin' um, see-through fairings. That's something that actually tanks performance in the editor for some reason. It's really bad. Um, then I wanted you... Uh, vessel naming? You are the Relay Deployer Mark II, exactly. Uh, then I wanted to just make sure that my, um, my action groups... Where are you? Custom 1. And these go on Custom 2. Yes, good. Nice. So we press 1 once we're in space, and we press 2 after deployment. Okay, then uh, you you uh, configure vessel naming. You are gonna be the relay deployer mark to center booster. And you out here are gonna be uh, vessel naming booster one uh, configure vessel naming booster two booster three. to four. Except. Okay. Um, all the way out at freaking Minmus or Moon, this, uh, once it wants to come back, also needs some form of communication. And for that it needs to be able to communicate with the other relay satellites, so it needs a little bit of, of a little kind of antenna something uh, so it will need some sort of communitron how big is this I just want one Okay. 
This should be fine. That's protected by the uh, engine down there for re-entry. Doesn't add a lot of weight. Yeah, that should be fine. I am also going to go ahead and add this to the action group for the extension. So that's also going to be toggle antenna. Because this way we automatically put it out once we're in space and put these out. So we can forget to put uh, it out before just deploying all four of these. So I can't end up uh, accidentally losing control of this thing. And we also automatically put it back in once we're re-entering, because that's when I'm pressing it again to save the uh, stuff. Um, also, of course, this needs shoots on the lower stages. So, radials for you. You're gonna be quite high when you come in, so. Uh, I'll go in one thing and go up here. Um, and same goes for all of this. You get. Four of these around the top. Uh, do we have air brake thingies yet? Still not. Uh, how much for those? I'd really like those. It would be so much easier to fly these back down with air brakes. Or like grid fins or something. Should be fine. Um, do we have Sepatrons? That's a solid rocket booster. That's the. That's not exactly what I want. Back. Oh, hey, we have twin bores? When did. How did I completely overlook that? Uh, that is a very tiny rocket, small, solid rocket booster, but that's the kickback. That's, that's a uh, big boy. Anvil, uh-huh. I mean, this is indeed a very tiny booster. Like a uh, Sepatron would be, but it's not a Sepatron. It's way too big for a Sepatron. So, what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna make sure this has some sort of control on it. So I can be sure that I can pull away from the craft. Winglet, that's fine. C. 
see. There we go. Here and here. So that can pull away from the craft and Can you just like be symmetrical? Thank you. I hope it works the way I want it to. Either way, um, this seems fine. Should work. Um, you all go in the same freaking stage because I don't want you to mess up my staging. Uh, okay, so all of this goes, then these fall off, then this falls off and these go, and then we should be already out at noon, basically. Before anything else goes off. Uh, so yeah, um, that probably goes before, because I'm definitely in space before I uh, deploy the... Like, before I get rid of the central booster. That's gonna carry us all the way to almost orbit. Depending on how much it actually has in the tank all the way to orbit and then it turns around and burns back down. Potentially. As I said, I'd really like not having to do this completely without uh any sort of um air brakes i'm going to save right now and i'm going to see if i can like what what how much i need for unlocking the air brakes because i'd really love to have air brakes okay so uh, what's the next thing that has them? Should be under aerodynamics, right? That doesn't. That has grid fins. That's and the air brakes. Grid fin originally developed in an attempt to cook oversized waffles. <laughs> ah, good. <laughs> I love KSP. <laughs> ah. Uh, this can go up a thousand degrees hotter than this, so... These have a max temperature of 2.4 thousand though. So that's actually like the best. And I really just need... A hundred and forty science for that. Um, I'd really want that. We get where do get a hundred forty science real quick. Do we have anything that we haven't done on specific locations yet? Like, if I just really quickly put an octo up here. That's also really something I cannot stand, that the scrolling does different things in the different editors. Uh, it's, it's, uh, anyway, um, no. Um, let's see, science... Don't need the storage unit. I have done this pretty much everywhere. Um, I don't think I have done the seismic ex what the fuck seismic accelerometer everywhere. So I'm going to also do that. I think I've done the mystery goo everywhere. Do we have the inline mystery goo for that? Just to put that like down here. Inline mystery goo and science junior. Just in case I haven't. Press my barometer. 
and we're just gonna put this out um, and have it record something everywhere and see if that does anything uh, quick science Uh, really quickly, once on the runway, once on uh, the island airfield, once on the desert airfield, and then uh, once on every um, freaking other like launch site. Uh, yeah, I should have just set these two action groups. I can do that on the other thing. Unlike everything else, with this one we're just gonna manually do the stuff. Because observe materials bay, I think we've done this here. Yeah, that's only point for science, but I'm gonna keep it. Observe material, uh, mystery goo. We've done that here twice, so we shouldn't. What the fuck was that? Uh, pressure data already done. Lock temperature already done and the seismic data I haven't done that yet see uh, there's no like probe report that I could do so yeah we're just going to recover this Thank you. That's not a lot of science, but it's some science. Uh, back in here. Um, again, uh, action groups. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> then we'll just take light, I guess. Um, uh, log seismic data, log pressure data, Log temperature, uh, observe mystery goo, and observe material spay. Save. Island airfield. Launch. Don't think I've done anything of significance on the island airfield yet. Uh, light? Light? There we go. Um, I've done that apparently. Uh, again, the seismic scan is not something I've done. This material study is not something I've done. Temperature scan already did, atmospheric scan already did, but yeah, whatever we can do, really. Also, since when, when is L not light? The same on the desert airfield. Launch. Light. Okay. Seismic scan. Temperature. Material study. Okay. Uh, I haven't done material studies anywhere apparently. Uh, recover vessel. And the seismic scan is obviously something we unlocked very recently, so I'm not surprised we haven't done that on any, any of the launch side. That's that. Uh, then we switch this over to the VAB. Smooth. Uh, and do this on the launch pad. At the boomerang launch site and at the desert launch site. Right? Right. Um, light. Okay, pressure.
pressure scan mystery ghoul. Seismic scan. Material study still gives something. Not entirely sure I'm gonna get to the rest of the 100 that I need. Still. But in here again. Boomerang. If not, then I'm basically what am I gonna do since I, I've gotten the science from basically every other thing, right? I mean, I could do a plane and just like fly around and land at, at different locations. I could do that. Like I could go to the poles. Those should give a little bit more, right? Uh, lights. Uh, mystery goo is done. Seismic scan, yes. And that's about it. And a little bit of the material study is still there. I guess it's something. Have we gotten soil samples from everywhere? I mean, I could just literally fly on a little plane to the... Uh, to the pool and get stuff there that should be not too much of an effort just a little bit of a long flight but i can fast forward that for you and i i, I don't necessarily need to be anywhere so I'm just gonna take the time desert launch site Light. Seismic scan, temperature scan, material study. Yeah. <laughs> this launch site is kind of a little bit weird. <laughs> Who launches from the desert? Then again, it's better than launching next to a city, I guess. Uh, recover vessel. Okay, so we definitely don't have the 100. That we want. We need 90 or 82 to be exact. Not 82 science. How do I get 82 science? If we look at our archives, um, science for Pressure scan, that's Minmus. On on Kerbin. On Kerbin. Um, just on Kerbin. The highest that we get is upper atmosphere so far, but yeah. Uh, just from like anywhere. That grassland screw report is 150. That's like from everywhere. Okay. Good. So if we were to just get a crew report, which is 150 on, on Kerbin, landed. Right? Kerbin's water, two at most. Let's go with two. Uh, crew report, two. EVA report is another three, so that's five. Mystery Goo gets up to, uh, let's say somewhere around four, so that's nine. Material study, that's like 10. 
I don't have that from like anywhere except from wow but that's like 10 so that's uh somewhere around 20 temperature scan another three atmospheric pressure scan is another four ish the seismic scan is six And then the we do not have the soil samples from anything on Kerbin. Excuse me. Very much. Um, we're going to really quickly do that. Um, just going to like take this module, put it upright and make it stand or something I don't know micro struts micro struts yeah like four of those oh two good um, I totally like when you do that kind of symmetry. But yeah, that should be fine. Mm, you. You is what I want. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, Soil grabber? I don't know. <laughs> Safe. Uh, put a scientist in there, please. Bob, you're going uh, on a nice uh, little exploration. And yes, I am going to have you watch all of this. I don't know about you, but I, uh, I'm fine with that. Crew report is fine. That doesn't give anything anymore. But EVA. Oops. Get up. Uh, EVA report is also not giving anything anymore. But take surface sample. That gives nine. So that's 10 basically from everything. Uh, store experiment, uh, take another surface sample, keep, and then I'm basically gonna freaking recover you separately. So I get the most out of it. Right? So that's uh, nine science data plus the data that's, that's in here, recover. That's another 2.3. So that's literally 11.3 for every launch site. That's easily enough, right? Uh, do the same thing from... No! <sighs> Loading screens are way too long to misclick something like that. Revert flight to the uh, space plane hangar. The air island airfield launch. Since we don't have surface samples from anywhere on Kerbin yet, apparently, which is kind of a little bit surprising. That did not get out anywhere. Uh, again, the crew report here should be done. So, uh, yeah. So, EVA.
can the EVA report should also be done. Yes. Take surface sample, keep, store, take surface sample, keep, recover. And I should see the island runway from the KSC as well, right? Otherwise, I'm just going to collect those uh, on yeah, the recover. So we're already at 100, so we only need six more of those, which is like three launch sites plus one launch site. That's only four. <laughs> That's an airfield launch. Again, the crew report here should already be done. Yes. So should the EVA. Uh, crew uh, EVA report, yes. How about flying over Kerbin's desert is also done. Uh, then take a surface sample, keep store. And take a surface sample, keep recover. As I said, I'm going to re uh, recover the, the vessels uh, all at once after I'm done, because I don't see all the way over to the desert. So I don't want to go into the tracking station every time is basically what I'm saying. <clears throat> Back in here, switch editor. And do that on the launch site. Again, everything else should already be done. I'm not gonna even try anymore. Uh, EVA report is done, yeah. Uh, e surface sample, keep, uh, store, surface sample, keep, recover. and recover and then there's a uh, launch site and boomerang launch site boomerang already done um, actually surface sample uh, that's also already done okay uh, store experiments take another surface sample and get recovered.
and then one more. Desert launch site go. Um, EVA. Stand up. Uh, take surface sample, keep store. Take surface sample, keep recover. Next, next, get into the tracking station, recover the vessels, that's soil grabber, recover, 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 and recover, recover. Okay, nothing else is landed at Kerbin or orbit of Kerbin without uh, supervision. <laughs> so to say um so we still need like 20 ish 40 so 14 is what we need i don't think we have everything from the water so what I'm going to do is really quickly launch something into the water. Uh, so you uh, Bob uh, no shoot um, actually in line Who? Um, this, I don't think the seismic thing is gonna work in the water anyway. I think we already have the temperature and the pressure from the water, but I'm still gonna take it. Um, and I'm gonna take two science juniors just in case. And then like a little tank and uh a little engine power oh god i forgot that this is shit thank you very much we're working Um, just to make sure these and these and that's gonna be the water grabber safe uh, and launch. I really want a little bit of actual control, so sorry. Save. Launch. Just gonna fly over to the water and be fine. This is just parts we had lying around from previous missions. The fucking vessel. So.
I do not see a thing. Impact by on water though, so ah shores. Screw you. I'll take shores. I do not see a fucking thing. There's way too, way too much fog. We're in the clouds. There, there's fog around KC right now. That's really bad in the night. But yeah, apparently impact biome shores. So we're still on land? Question mark? No, no, we're in the water. That's fine. That this counts as shores is a little bit weird. I'm going to hope that uh, the parachutes hold me up while I fall over, because I'm not going to be able to uh, hold on too much. Yep. Yep. Good. Okay, splash down. Um, observe materials bay. Okay, we full we get the full science from here, so that's nice. I have no idea what the noise in the background is. Just in case you're wondering, uh, observe. Thank you. Uh, crew report. Okay, keep. Uh, lock temperature. We don't have that yet. Lock seismic data. We can't do that. I told you. Uh, lock pressure. Dude. EVA. Uh, EVA report. From Corbin Shores. Keep. Uh, store. Let go. Now you land it. EVA report. Keep. Take surface sample. Keep. Uh, oops. Oh, I guess I can uh, climb here. I'm pretty sure I can get on here. Yeah. And grab and board. Nice. Recover vessel. That should be easily enough. Did not I didn't do the mystery quit. I'm an idiot. But yeah, that's enough. Okay. Uh fucking grid fins and air brakes good so we're going to equip our um, booster parts with air brakes <clears throat> uh, load up the uh, relay deployer mark 2 this makes stuff so much easier you don't even know how much easier that makes stuff uh, aerodynamics, air brakes. Uh, here. And here. And here. Nobody wanted that. And uh, in uh, here. And for the one in here, we just take eight. And for the one up here, you get also air brakes. 
Breakfast 4 should be nice enough for you. Okay, obviously, um, these do not actually have pitch or yaw control. Uh, they just deploy when uh, on the when the brake gets hit, right? Yeah, hit the brakes and they'll deploy. So safe, and we're going to launch this around the moon for now in the next episode. Uh, and then the episode after that, we're going to do the same thing for Minmus. And I hope that next time I record, I won't have this annoying ass uh, saw in the background of noise. Because I don't know if you hear that, but it is really fucking nerve wracking for me. Either way, I'll see you in the next episode. Till then, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. And until next time, I'm WW Deadman. Bye.